In this video I'm going to show you guys how to create a rock paper scissors game against the computer and best two out of three wins. So what I'm going to do is we are going to just run this and I'm going to show you how it works. So we're going to run it. Okay so it's going to prompt us for enter one for rock, two for paper, three for scissors. Just say we pick scissors. It's a tie. No points will be awarded. It prompts us again. We'll pick rock. CPU chose scissors and we won this round. It displays the CPU score and our score and then it prompts us again so remember it's best two out of three so which whenever one of these scores gets to two the first one to get to two wins so it prompts us again we will pick paper and uh, CPU chose rock you won this round it displayed our scores and I got best two out of three and then the program ends so if you want to stick around and see how to code this out uh, stick around for the next section so for the coding section of this tutorial, we're going to start out by importing the random module because we want so import random because we want um, the computer to randomly pick rock, paper, or scissors. And then we're going to create two variables, one being player score, and we're going to set that equal to zero, and then the other being CPU score, we're also going to set that equal to zero. These two variables are going to keep track of our um, player and CPU score because best two out of three wins okay then we need an infinite while loop so we'll just say while true because we don't know how many iterations we have to go through before the CPU or the user gets best two out of three so we're just gonna keep going through and iterating through until either the player or the CPU gets best two out of three then we need to get input from the user being uh, rock, paper, or scissors. So we're going to create a variable that's called player choice. And we're going to set that equal to input. And we're just going to say enter one for rock, two for paper, and three for scissors. Okay. Um, by default, the input method returns a string. So this will be a string. Um, we want this actually to be an integer, so we're going to use the int method to convert this into an integer. Okay, so now that we have our choice, we want the CPU's choice, and we're going to use the random module to do this. So we're going to say CPU choice is equal to random dot randint um, zero comma three or one comma three. Sorry. So this is randomly going, this method is randomly going to pick a number between 1 and 3, so 1, 2, or 3, and it's going to store it in our CPU choice. So for every iteration in our while loop, we're going to pick a new um, input, either rock, paper, or scissors, but so is the computer. Okay. So from here, now we need to start getting into the logic of our program. We're going to, and the logic is going to work like this. We need to create every possible scenario that can happen for if we pick rock, we need to tell the computer what happens if um, the computer picks paper, and we also need to tell the computer what will happen if the computer picks scissors, and we need to do that for every one of our possible choices. So we're just going to start out with saying if player choice. Okay, sorry for that. Okay, if player choice. is equal to CPU choice sorry CPU choice all we're gonna do is print it's a tie and move on so print it's a tie no points will be awarded okay now we need to create what all the possible scenarios for what will happen if we pick rock so if player choice is equal to one we also need to do the same for if we choose paper so if player choice is equal to two and we also need to do it if we pick scissors but we can just say else because we're either gonna pick one two or three and if we didn't pick one or two we chose three so we're just gonna say else so 
what we need to do in here is we need to tell the computer what's going to happen. Actually, we need to create make these else if so else if and else if and we need to go inside of here and tell um, what will happen if the computer chooses two and then what will happen if the computer chooses three. So if CPU choice is equal to two, CPU choice is equal to two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just print CPU chose paper and won this round. So print CPU chose paper and won this round. And then we want to update the CPU score. So CPU score plus equals one. And then we want to print, um, we want to display the scores, the CPU score and our score. So we're just going to say print um, CPU score, CPU score. And then we're just going to display the CPU score as a string. So CPU score. And the reason we use the string method is because as of right now, it's a it's a integer, and we want to convert it into a string because we cannot concatenate integers and strings together. So we just had to convert it into a string in order to concatenate it. And then we want to make a new line. So we're just going to do a new line character. And the reason we want to do this is because we want the CPU score to be on one line and then the user score to be on the second line. Um, and I just wanted to do this all within one print method. You could do two separate print methods and not have to explicitly write the new line character, but I just wanted to do it this way. So that's what I'm doing. And then um, we're just going to say plus your score. And then we're going to do the same thing, display our score, uh, player score. Okay, so that takes care of that. Then we need to also do um, what will happen if we choose one and then the computer chooses three. So if CPU choice is equal to three, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it in here. So we're going to print CPU chose scissors. So CPU chose scissors. And then we're going to say you won this round. You won this round. And then we are going to update player score instead of CPU score. So player score plus equals one and then we're gonna just like last time display the CPU score and your score okay so from here we have this complete we're just going to create an extra space between these we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste this into the next else if statement because we now need to create the logic for what happens if the player choice is two, we need the, com the logic for if the computer choice is one and if the computer choice is three. So we need to change this to one. And we are going to say, um, yeah, if CPU choice is equal to one, print CPU chose rock. So CPU chose rock. And we're going to say you won this round. You won this round. We're going to update our score by adding one to it. Player score. And then we're going to display the scores. And then we keep this as three. So we're going to say CPU chose scissors um, and won this round since we didn't. And won this round. We are going to add one to the CPU score since they won this round. CPU score. And then we're going to display the scores. Okay, so for else, we're going to do the same thing, but this is the same thing as saying elif player choice was equal to three. So we're just going to paste this. So 
we're going to have to do the logic for if uh, CPU choice is equal to 1. So if CPU choice is equal to 1, we're going to print CPU chose what rock and what and won this round. CPU chose rock and won this round. And then we're going to update CPU score and then display the CPU score and our score. And then we need to do the logic for if CPU choice is equal to 2. We're going to print CPU chose paper. CPU chose paper and we're just going to say you won this round and then we're going to update our score and then we're going to display the scores and the last thing we need to do is we need to create the logic for how to break out of this statement so if we think about it it's best two out of three so whoever gets to three first or whoever gets their score to two first wins the thing wins the entire round so we're just gonna say if player score if player score is equal to two we're just gonna print you won best two out of three you won best two out of three and then we need to break out of this infinite while loop and we're gonna do the same thing with um the if statement for the CPU score. So if CPU score is equal to 2, we're just going to print um, CPU1, CPU1, sorry, but you have lost. And then we're going to break out of the uh, infinite while loop just like last time. So if we run this, so we'll save this. Save all, we'll run it. So it prompts us enter one for rock, two for paper, three for scissors. We're just going to just say rock. CPU chose paper and won this round. So the CPU score is one and our score is zero. It prompts us again. We will choose scissors. CPU chose paper, you won this round. So it's one to one. Next one to win, wins the whole thing. We'll choose paper. CPU chose rock, you won this round, and CPU score is one, and our score is two, so we won, best two out of three. And that's essentially all this, this project is. Um, if you liked it or got any value from it, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed, and I will see you guys in future tutorials.